Hello there, Cruiser, and welcome. I'm Shadow Lemmox, and I'm back here on Wreckfest to do this week's weekly challenge for the solo tournament. And this week it's a snow race on the Eagles Peak Motor Park. I am using a controller again. I'm not going to put myself through the suffering that is using a wheel, and I do so much better. Uh, I switch AB uh, traction control to off and leave everything else on half and then manual gears which is basically my standard setup and I don't change anything in the tuning section and this goes really well for me this is my very first run at attempting it and a bit of disclosure beforehand the Eagles P track is one of my favorite tracks in the game this particular event has been done plenty on this track and the Star Beast SS, the car that we're using, is one of my favourite cars in the game. It's my go-to car for online racing in Class A. So I got a bit of an advantage. I have an excellent start here. I cut the first corner nicely, bounce off the AI, get a good bit of luck here, bouncing off the cars, taking the inside line so I can basically just elbow them out on the outside. And I'm pretty much up to up to the front near the beginning of the lap. As you can see there's a bonus multiplier in the top right corner that's currently at 4.5. I'll go up to times five is if I get to first and it goes up as you gain positions and then it doesn't disappear. So to get the best score possible you get to the front as soon as possible and then just try and race away. And that is exactly what I do. I'm pretty confident to say that if this was under the old setup where goal time is the top 10% of the community times, this is a score that was probably quite easily be in that top 10%. I do. I, I said I really like this track, this car, the fact that we're racing on snow doesn't bother me too much in this on this setup and from my previous experience of using the wheel, going back to the controller just makes things so so much easier it is like night and day it's a three lap race and i've pretty much already got gold by the time i'm at the halfway point of the second lap and when we get through then i'll talk you through a lap but you're not breaking as much as you think you're doing a lot of just lifting off the throttle dropping down a gear and that's a good way of keeping the car stable slowing yourself down in a nice stable manner you go hard on the brakes it's a good chance you're just going to spin yourself out as the ai shows the difficulty even they have in this course so as you come up to the first corner you're breaking way before the start finish line dropping down to third turning yourself in you want to try and cut that corner a little bit but that's a nice line and then up to fourth here and you're just feathering the throttle through this corner just letting off, let the weight transfer to the front of the car and then just turning yourself in and then getting back on the accelerator. That hairpin, just drop down to third, quick dab of the accelerator to get the back end out and then you're on your way. And then we really go up to fifth, then we go to this corner and go down to second but then just straight back up to third. So that allows me to slow down and then I'm up to third then so I've got more control there's less wheel spin less revs as I'm trying to accelerate through the corner and the same for that section there no brake just lifting off the throttle I drop don't brake for that jump just drop down the gear and when I hit hit the landing I find the back end just likes to step out and that will get around the corner nicely and there we go a really pretty solid score 278053 must admit i was really happy with that and this is the new seasonal challenge i'm not going to talk through it it's been the same seasonal challenge for the whole solo tournament so i'm just going to leave it here to see some snowball fun but if this is uh, where you want to tap out that's fine by me so i just want to say thank you for watching